Master Ken here with another episode of Master Ken's Privates out at Fuel XL, which is Fusion, Fusion XL. What is that? Fusion, Fusion XL. Yeah. Oh, right Fusion right yeah. XL, uh, which is not possible. Correct. Uh, well, as a as an energy source, it's still a theory, right? They haven't. I feel like I would have read about it if this gym single-handedly solved fusion. I think you're wrong. Is that scientifically? It says it right there on the, you know. Well, yeah, I can put it on, I can put it Who on knows? a soda and it doesn't mean there's fusion Let's in my just, soda. We can agree to disagree. Fair enough, fair enough. Today, we're gonna to be tackling a very controversial topic that really grinds the gears of grapplers around the world and that is known as greasing. Now, this is a more mainstream conversation recently because of two people named Nikki Rod and Gordon Ryan. If you don't know who those people are, I'll put it in context for you. Nikki Rod is a former dad bod cover model uh, who does a lot of grappling. Gordon Ryan is an ADCC champion, amateur gynecologist, and someone who made millions of dollars selling videos of him grappling with his sister, Sunny. Recently, they started an online feud where Nikki accused Gordon Ryan of taking steroids. Uh, Gordon Ryan, to prove that he doesn't have roid rage, made a bunch of angry posts on Instagram all day accusing Nikki Rod of greasing. Greasing is when you cover your body with some sort of lubricant in order to gain an advantage in jiu-jitsu competition. So we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of that today. With me, I have Goldie Hahn, most famously known for uh, being married to Kurt Russell, I believe. Hannah Goldie. Hannah Goldie. Tell us a little bit about your background. I am a professional fighter. I currently fight for the UFC. I am a mom of a five-year-old little boy named Odin. He's amazing. And I train at the best gym in the world, Fusion. Uh, yeah. And what are you going to be demonstrating for us today? Today, I am going to show you guys a Kimura trap to a back take. So it would work really well in a situation where my opponent would be, you know, lubricating their arms. So instead of going for an arm lock, I would then switch to the back and use a rear naked to finish. All right, so she's going to show you that, and then I'm going to show you why I consider grapplers to be target-rich environments, which is why whenever I see a grappler in the street, I say, there's gold in them thar hills. Not those hills. In hills, uh, out in, if you're going to, I don't know what's in those hills. I do know what's in those hills. Probably silicone, I imagine, uh, if they still use that. Andy, we gotta get you ready for the scene. What kind of scene? <laughs> the lubed up scene. Oh, you're missing her stomach. You gotta get her stomach. What are you doing? What are you doing? Wait a second. I didn't ask you to do this. Ladies, behave yourselves. Go, go dry off. That's possible. I turned my eyes for one minute. Julian, we have to get lubed up. Here, rub my hand. Strong hands. What's up guys, I'm Hannah Goldie, and now that I have Andy all lubed up just the way that I prefer her, maybe not for grappling, because you know, if my opponent is greasing when I'm trying to grapple them, it's gonna be harder for me to finish things like arm locks or leg entanglements or things like that. So today I'm going to show you guys a Kimura lock to a back take. So generally from the Kimura, I like to go to arm bars, but if somebody was greasing, it would be harder to finish. So the back take works really great here. So I'm gonna have Andy lay down. I'm gonna start on top in side control. I'm gonna establish a good side control position. I'm going to switch my hips out and grab her arm in the Kimura lock. Slide my hips over her head. She's gonna come up. My bottom knee is gonna slide under her back. My top leg is going to come into a hook. I'm going to drag her over, lasso my arms, get my body triangle, get my arm in choke position, and finish here. All right, my number one problem with Hannah Montana's technique is that she is missing a golden opportunity. If you're hunting for MMA submissions in a street fight, that's fool's gold. You also don't want to work 
in a way where you're thinking about greasing as an illegal technique. Because once you start banning greasing, they're gonna ban eye gouges, they're gonna ban fish hooks, it's a slippery slope. What we wanna do is embrace the idea of greasing, see how we can use that to our advantage in a street fight. So let's say that Julian here is laying down, okay? You've got him in a similar position where I have side control, but I'm out in the street. First thing I wanna do, I wanna find the greasiest part of his body and harvest that grease. Now, maybe he's got most of the grease on his neck to avoid being choked. If I put my hand and rub his neck, that's called a rubber neck. If you're from New York, a rubber neck. Okay, that's where that comes from. Maybe he poured most of the grease down his pants. That's called a wet willy. Whatever it is, you wanna make sure you find that area and rub it as fast as you can to get all the grease on your palms. Then you find his palms, okay, and you put all the grease on his palms. Now he can't grab you, you can't grab him. It's an even playing field. What is lubricant used for? Penetration. We want to find a way to insert our tiger claws into our opponent as efficiently as possible. The way I try to help people remember that is to think of the story of Goldilocks and the three bears. Think of his holes as the beds in the bear's house, right? Remember, say we go for the ear and I say, this hole is too small. Then I go for the mouth. I say, this hole is too big. But then, go right into the anus here. That hole is just right. Once I've thrown him by his anus hole, as always, restomp that groin. All right, that was another episode of Master Ken's Privates. I want to thank Hannah Gold Digger for showing us some greasy jujitsu. Uh, people want to learn more about you, they can. Find me on Instagram at Hannah Goldie. People want to find you, they can. Andy the Crazian One. And you? At Magpie. And if people want to learn more about Fuel, Fusion, Excel, whatever bull Yeah, Fusion, Excel, Performance, and Akoi, Florida. All right. Tune in next time for another episode of Master Cans Privates. Us. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, you can order your own personalized video message from me, Master Ken, by going to Cameo. So whether it's a happy birthday, or you want me to tell you, or your instructor, why your martial art is total bullshit, go to Cameo and order your video message today. And remember, always restomp that groin.